So I'm going to have a crack at trying to explain why you should ignore these sort of fucking signs. You don't need to listen to them. Hello there, Davey and your power star. You'll make an appearance later in this video. G'day there, good cats. All right. I'm here to tell you a bit about jake brakes and supplemental braking systems in general. And you're probably thinking, why is this fucking idiot in his ute trying to tell us about jake brakes? Well, because me and the little poof will fit. We're just cruising around the yard, because we're going to start at the very start, right? Your little ute. Put the foot down. Manual transmission. We need to move over, bud. Yeah, it's too big. Back off. Vehicle slows down. Hmm. Why do trucks make this obnoxious fucking bah! noise when they do the same thing? Well, this has got a natural vacuum in the intake manifold. It's a carby, so when you back off, the carby closes up, slide drops down, whatever, creates a vacuum in the manifold. So, as your pistons pull back down the cylinder, they gotta work against the vacuum. That's why your petrol engine car slows down naturally when you back off. Now, obviously, it's a lot more noticeable with an automatic transmission. It'll let you roll on a bit, and a manual, you've got a direct link between your drive wheels and the engine, so it's a lot more noticeable. Let's move on. Throttle body on a petrol engine, right? There's your throttle body. There's your butterfly in there. So that's closed off. So as the cylinders are working away while you're not on, under power, it's got to work against the vacuum. You open that up, a diesel basically doesn't have that. It's just open. There's nothing to create that vacuum in the system for the pistons to work against. And it's obviously more pronounced with a manual transmission in, in a petrol vehicle because an auto will always let you roll on a little bit, but back off on a manual, motoring along, creates a vacuum in there, slows the fucker down. Now this little Isuzu is fitted with an exhaust brake. That's the control for it there. And you can see, you can see by the image that represents it, it's essentially a valve inside your exhaust pipe. So, as we bang her on, give her a bit of curry, we'll skip straight from second to fourth. Flip the switch on, back off, there we go. Indicator comes on that the exhaust brake's operating. Flick it off again. As with the Jake brake, you've got a cut off on your clutch and on your throttle switch, so that if either of those pedals are depressed, then obviously the engine brake cuts out, otherwise it'd store your engine without the vehicle's momentum keeping it going. So that's a basic exhaust brake. A little bit different to a Jake, but same in principle. It's about creating, about rubbing the engine of some power. Oh yeah, here's under the cab of the little Suzy, little Isuzu, Japanese truck. Here's your, uh, Here's your Garrett Turbo for all you fucking Zuchu fans. Fucking does it dose? Yeah, no, nah, not really. But, as you can see there, this big old fucking hunk of junk that's all reinforced and whatnot. Hit your exhaust brake, fucking bam, butterfly shuts that off. Back pressure through the exhaust system creates resistance for the pistons to work against on the exhaust stroke. And that's how it removes road speed from a vehicle. A simple exhaust brake. Now, like most European trucks, this one is retarded. So yeah, this Scania here is fitted with a retarder. As you can see, there's your level switch. So you got all your different levels of braking there. And you actually set it so that it'll come on when you just put your foot on the brake pedal without actually actuating your service brakes. Or, you know, minimally anyway, it'll actually kick the retarder in first. So that's a nice little, I like the way the Europeans are set up like that. But yeah, genuine retarder. Because it retards the vehicle's fucking speed. Straightforward, no political correctness in engineering, cunts. But yeah, first time I fucking used one, damn near put me through the fucking windscreen, I tell you. Fuck, they'll pull you up. All right, you bearded cunt. So what's a fucking Jake brake? Well, a Jake brake's a compression release engine brake. So what that means is, as the piston comes up towards top dead center, and you've got the engine brake circuitry activated, what that does is there's a separate system within the engine that instead of opening the exhaust valve for the exhaust stroke, it opens it at the compression stroke near top dead center. Now what that does is the piston's got to compress all that air into a smaller volume, which takes energy to compress it, which is robbed from your forward momentum, from your vehicle speed. So what that does, compresses that, so you pull some energy out of the system. Pop, exhaust valve's open. All right, now it's got to come back down the cylinder, pulling against a slight vacuum. And so it's a two-fold effect of It makes the cylinders work harder, rather than compressing that air and essentially having all of that energy return to the crankshaft. So, how do you use the fucking things? Well, you've got an on-off switch, and you've got what's called a level switch. So you can select how many of your cylinders your Jake brakes active on. So this truck, six cylinder, three level switch, you can choose two, four, or six cylinders. Uh, a little Freightliner rocking around here somewhere with an MBE engine. 
that's got a three as position switch, just one, it's either off, low or high. So you basically get three cylinders or six. So, and it depends on the truck too. Some of them are just the basic on off switch. Then you got your cutout switches on your pedals. So if I push the clutch in, it disengages the jake brake so it doesn't stall the engine. Same with the throttle. If I'm giving it diesel, if I'm trying to get going, it's not gonna put the engine brake on because basically that ECM's smarter than fucking most of us. That's smarter than you, you got a potato for a brain. So it's pretty simple in, in theory, as in where well, you're just robbing the engine of that compression after it's compressed the air. Pop, exhaust valves open, exhaust valve per cylinder, sorry. Stop sending me photos while I'm making a video, Steve. Yeah, and that's where you get your pop, 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 pop. That's why sometimes you'll hear them and they'll just be pop, 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 pop. And other times you'll hear them when they're up in the revs and we're really getting into it with a bit of weight behind them. You get that real Wah! Then you get into a GM2 stroke where every second stroke's a compression stroke. Now those things are fucking tits, aren't they, bud? No comment? He's like, get them going, cunt, get them going. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, what they are, how they work, why they exist in the first place. Because they're basically, basically a safety device for a heavy vehicle. So that you don't have to worry about your brakes fading as much. You've got more control over the vehicle, especially on downhill um, grades or descents. Because that's when you can really get into trouble in a heavy vehicle. If you have a major brake failure going downhill, even if you're only at 10 or 15 ton, that's a fucking lot of energy that can hit something, can roll over, can do a hell of a lot of damage. So whenever you see someone and they're, oh, bloody jake brakes, bloody cowboys, bloody, ask them to explain what a supplemental braking system does and why it exists and why you should fucking listen to those stupid cunts. Because look, we've all got to get up and go to work every day to survive because that's the fucking bullshit society we've been born into. Debt slavery, wage slavery. So if we can't have a bit of a fucking laugh and a bit of a fucking smile, What's the point of it all? Why can't we have a bit of a fucking play around with the Jake break? Why can't we make a bit of noise and have a bit of a laugh during the day? Why does everything have to be so fucking serious? So I've just about had enough of it. Yeah, you know, this industry used to be a lot of fun. Now it's just a lot of fuckwits with poles up their ass that don't want to help anybody. And I think that's sad. It never used to be like that. But anyway, hopefully that gives you an idea what it's all about. And uh yeah, get out there and fucking release some compression. Do it. Do it. Get up it. So you got your main switch. You're on and off. Why you need that, I don't know. It just It's the only position you need. Any other position's redundant. And you got your level switch. Now, it's a little bit dark in here, but that's the cutout switch on the clutch that I was talking about. So that switch is essentially on there. Push the clutch in, and that switch breaks the circuit. Same applies on the throttle pedal. All right, the old S-Line. Same thing, on off. Six cylinders, four cylinders, two cylinders. It's your classic Jake switch layout. And Davey's big power star, his flash new fucking thing. Now, the engine brake in this, this is a Cummins engine, so an American engine. Normal Jake brake type setup. That's how you switch her on. See that little flashing thing on there? That means she's on. Now what this will do, when you've got it set properly, because it's an automatic, it will actually down change on the Jakes. No clutch naturally, because it's a fucking automatic. By itself. They're pretty, uh, pretty good. Yes, turn the key off. 
fucking sinks down, dumps all the air out the seat. Fucking smarter than most drivers, these fucking. So Vaughn's been nice enough to let me have a play in this while he's uh, getting ready to head off. Wait till the fucking lights go out. Oh, there we go. Boom, flash as. Here we got a later model cab over. And uh, as you can see, smart wheel. Oh, it's got me fucking mouth on it. Oh, that was really smart, actually. Just a bit better layout, a bit more focused on the driver, fingertip controls for your jake brakes on the right there. Um, flasher switch, just for flashing cunts in, cruise control settings, all that type of stuff. The big old go pedal. And these new ones, how fucking nifty is this? Collapsible gear stick. It's the fucking simple things in life, isn't it? There goes the big flash run. The old Tassie salmon van. Off into the sunset. Fucking sit.